Hey, Dr. Andrew Bruns here today to talk about my favorite ways to do self-massage on your tight muscles and trigger points. My favorite tool to use for self-massage is a lacrosse ball. You can get these at a used sporting goods store for just a couple bucks. And they're easy to take with you on trips. If you're driving, you can use these. Uh, or if you want one, you know, in your office desk drawer. They're easy to transport and really effective tools. The best way to use these is to use your own body weight against the pressure of the ball. And just roll over that tight muscle group until it starts to loosen up. So one of the most common areas I'll see that need to have some trigger point work done are the traps or shoulders. A great way to use this is to basically just reach behind your back, put it where it's sore or tight, and then lean into a surface like a chair or a wall. So in this case, I lean against a wall. I have one handy. Put the ball back in my tight shoulder. As I bend at the hip or roll side to side, I can build friction against that trigger point. I don't really want to focus on force near the spine. It's not dangerous, but it'll be a little bit tender and less effective. So find the actual uh, spasm or trigger point and lean into that. You can shift forward, let the ball fall. If you want to get to a midpoint in your back you can't reach with your hand, just lean forward until the ball rolls down the next sore spot. You can lean to the side and really dig in there. You can work along the rotator cuff and the mid-back. All that will still be accessible with the lacrosse ball. If you wanted to, for example, target your forearms, if you have uh, some issues with tendonitis, you can even roll against a table with your forearm, put the ball underneath, roll side to side. That's great for working on carpal tunnel issues if you're having symptoms when you're working on your desk typing all day. That can be really effective. You can even use it to work on the hip. If you have any IT band issues, if you're running, you get a lot of hip pain, you could potentially take the ball, get it underneath your body weight, and roll gently side to side, about a minute for each muscle group. It shouldn't be so aggressive that you have pain for you know, a couple days afterwards. Just barely get in there as if you're getting a massage uh, from a therapist. It shouldn't be really intense, but it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable and that's okay. Another common area to work would be the pecs. So you can roll the pec as you move your arm in different directions, and that will loosen up the fibers that are pulling you forward uh, too far with the pec. Hip flexor is another common one that's going to be an issue for people who sit all day, um, oftentimes with back pain or with runners. You'll have tight hip flexors and that can cause issues. So to target that muscle group, you take the ball, you put it somewhere between your belly button and the bony part of the front of your hip. You can roll onto a surface. Try to find a tender spot when you do. You can bend your leg up like that at 90 degrees. Let the leg roll in and out. And often it's pretty intense, so it's not going to be a, a pleasant massage sort of sensation, but you'll really feel that there's a lot of pressure in there, and a muscle you probably didn't even know existed. So you might try that for a minute on the hip flexor. And other areas might include the piriformis. That's another muscle on the side of the hip. You can even just sit right on the ball. Pull your leg side to side, try to find a tender spot until it loosens up. You can also target the hamstring by putting it a little bit farther down the leg. And you can straighten your leg and bend it. Just play around with any direction and movement until you find something that's tight and roll it until it feels a little bit more loose. So if you don't have a ball handy, another great way to massage any muscle group is to shorten it by contracting it, pin down the tight area, and then lengthen it. So for my forearm, for example, if I flex my wrist down, I use these muscle groups. They are now tight. If I pin them down, I can lengthen them the other way by doing the opposite movement. And that will create a great massage. It will stretch the muscles. It's often called a pin and stretch massage. So you can apply that to pretty much any muscle group. When you do that, make sure you're not pulling against the skin. You don't want that rug burn sensation. Rather, move with the skin and pin the muscle underneath. You can apply that same concept to your tight shoulders again. So for example, I had a trigger point here. I can lean against it, pin it down, lean away from that side. Again, I'm moving with the skin. I'm not feeling a lot of burn. And as I do that, I will hold, breathe deeply, and maybe shoot for about 10 second holds with that. The longer and slower you do all this, the better. You can also overdo it with the force on that, so make sure you're going light. See that you feel okay for the following days afterwards uh, and try those techniques at home. So those are great opportunities for you to work on yourself during the day. 
after working out or before a workout, or really anytime you're feeling tight and sore. Give those techniques a try and stay tuned for more videos about self-improvement with movement, exercise, and rehab. Thanks.